What's going on guys? Samil with Copperholics. And today we have not only another Jordan 1, but also a Jordan 1 in my favorite colorway. As I mentioned before in the intro, this brown on the Nike silhouette or the Jordan 1 silhouette is one of my favorite, favorite colorways from the Travis Scotts to the Mochas, all of them. I just love seeing brown on Jordan 1s. Now, this one in particular is the Palomino Jordan 1. Now, Palomino being a type of horse, but I it also is a type of cigar and we know that Jordan 1 is a avid cigar collector and also I am bitter because I do not have a grail which is the cigar Jordan 6 so I'm going to say I have a cigar inspired shoe in my collection and you can't stop me no, no but seriously no, I'm coming for those cigar Jordan 6s not the 7s god knows the 7s the 6s but this shoe right here is very very nice now it is often compared to the Mocha Jordan 1s and I think that kind of takes away from the shoe itself. The buttery, buttery leather with the little vinyl feel onto it. The lovely, lovely suede on the toe. And also the cream, cream uh, midsoles. And the swoosh and the heel and all that is wrapped around with the same suede. Now you don't get any other laces in the box. I think that's a great decision because I do not like how these look with the cream. But also that goes into the mocha comparison we're gonna do a little later. Um, and also you have the gold and black air tag so you have a great shoe i think this shoe overall as far as the materials eight out of ten for sure the materials are very very nice now on foot i think that this shoe really comes to life i think that whenever you look at this shoe if i told you right now it's a i got a brown black and cream jordan one you're going to think the mochas are you going to think who would wear that but on feet these shoes really do come alive i think that it kind of looks better on foot than on the table here so you'll see that but other than that getting into the next part the mocha comparisons now do i think that is a healthy comparison yes and no yes for the reason being like they're so similar you can't for you can't help but compare them but no in the sense of just because they're not better than the mochas don't mean that they're not good shoes you know mochas the mocha jordan ones are a great shoe these are good almost great i think the more you wear them the greater they become because of the suede the suede difference you really have to gouge the suede okay so think about it when the more you wear them the more your wear is going to reflect on the shoe it's going to create uniqueness and you know give it kind of some character i think that's amazing i think these shoes are going to wear it gracefully I think that's why I think that they're good, but can be great. So into the Mocha comparison. Now the suede is the obvious difference here. So with the suede on the Mocha Jordan one, you can kind of like rub your fingers across or whatever. And, you know, just have these, like, these little soft buttery, little light trails and stuff like that against the grain here. You kind of have to like run your nail across, like kind of almost gouge it a little bit, uh, as I touched on earlier. So if you're talking about the difference in suede i'll definitely choose the mocha for sure now versatility that's a different thing versatility is a little different so with the midsole being cream on the mochas and these are just mostly just monotone you were able to pull off different laces and then break up the mocha on the shoe and kind of get off different fits like you can get away with wearing blacks reds and other stuff green and stuff like that maroon and stuff like that you're able to get away with that more for me at least because of the cream and the ability to wear cream laces and toes and all that kind of stuff so the versatility was going to have to go to the mochas with these i feel like you can't really do the same thing hell i don't even think that these look good with well, cream laces i don't think that these look good with cream laces so Yes, versatility is once again going to go to the mochas. Now, 
if we're talking about leather i like this leather better i do know that the leather on the mocha is very buttery soft i do know that but i do like the vinyl feel on these like coarser tighter you know it feels more like skin you know it feels how can i put it it feels tighter in the sense that the more you wear it it's not going to wear the same as the mocha's leather i think that's going to tie in to them looking good as you wear them so that point is going to have to go to the palomino because for me i think that here when you wear this shoe more of course that's going to tie into the entire look and the comparison should be made at about six months. I'm going to recompare them in six months. I'm going to do a check-in, maybe like a little short, give you like a little update on the shoe. But that point of the leather is going to go definitely to the Palomino. Now, overall shoe. Now, if I had to choose between the Palomino and the Mocha Jordan 1, I'm going to go with Mocha once again because of the versatility. Not saying that these shoes aren't good. Because I feel like this entire thing, I'm just showing like why the mocha's are better. But these shoes are going to stay in my collection because I don't have the mochas anymore. Once again, I don't have the mochas anymore. So these shoes are going to definitely stay in my collection. Now, with them being in my collection, I think that it kind of pushes me to kind of try out different things with my like wardrobe or stuff like that. So maybe that's what these, maybe that makes the better shoe. What makes you, what pushes you out the box a little more. I know with the mochas, I'm able to get off regular little fits here and there. These, you probably gotta, you know, stuff either gonna look good or it's gonna look bad. It's kind of, it's not gonna complement, you know, the normalities really well. So I think that in that case, I'm probably gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna be happy with these for sure. But nonetheless, if I had to choose off right off the bat, right now it would be the mochas because of our city but as i wear these more i'm, I'm probably going to say these we're going to see we're going to check in a little bit out a little bit later but other than that man if you have the mochas already i don't think there's a need to have these i don't know what the resale are on these i'm gonna put it somewhere um on the video but i do believe that if you do have the mochas there's no need for these but if you miss the mochas and you want to wear a brown jordan one these are definitely amazing you got great materials cheaper price than the mochas i know you'll be able to save your money and buy the rest of the fit now instead of spending a car note on some mocha jordan ones it's crazy but <laughs> but uh yeah other than that i think that if you don't have a pair of mochas grab them grab them and run uh other <laughs> i keep saying other than that but but yeah Overall, this shoe is an 8 out of 10. I love the shoe. You should definitely grab your pair if you don't have it. Or if you're like an enthusiast and you just want all the different different type of colorway. I mean, all the different type of editions of the same colorways. Grab them. They can't. They're. I think they're relatively close to retail. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're really growing. And it's all because of you guys. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Now. Other than that, man, I know that the times are weird right now, especially with economics and finances, same thing, but still, if you believe in something and you feel like it's really for you, I pray that you continue to do it, man. I'm proud of you. You should definitely keep going. Motivation only gets you to the door. Consistency keeps you in the home. So keep doing it, man. I'm supporting you. I, I want you to make it, man. I hope you want yourself to make it. I can't want it more than you. I'm just a man behind the screen. I can't want it more than you. So please keep going, man. I'm proud of you. Man, lady, whatever, you, whatever. You don't matter who it is. This could be it for anybody. Keep going. But thank you guys so much for watching, man. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace.